though, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go It's a lot, it's every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Alright, everybody I'm starting this video really, really late. Um, I already kind of almost tackled the radio situation, and I'm actually moving on to the speakers. Um, as y'all all know, these old cars, everything is brittle and everything will break. I've actually already broke some clips off of these. Uh, that one is broke, but you can't really tell too bad that it's broke, or just like this one, it's missing one of the corners. But hey, uh, what I really wanted to, to, to discuss was this radio and everything that went into it. When I got the car, it initially, the radio wasn't working, which is the old one that you may see on the floor down there. It initially wasn't working. Um, what I ended up doing was troubleshooting it from the power from here, made sure everything was wired right. Uh, went to Walmart and actually brought a cheap uh, radio from there just to troubleshoot it. It's not the radio. It wasn't the wiring. I then went down to the fuse box that's down underneath here, and I actually uh, troubleshotted it all the way to the fuse. There was still no power. Uh, after hours of in that of horrible research with, G with Google, I finally figured out that it was possible that it could be the clock slash cigarette fuse that could be having no power going to this and lo and behold that's what it was it was a 30 amp fuse uh here in a minute i'll get down and i'll show you exactly where um i seen that but right now we're gonna finish pitting this uh speaker in. all right so we got these kickers uh three and a half installed on both sides i'm gonna actually fix the cover to this so i can put it back in but uh it looks like we're all good to go everything's kosher uh probably gonna take that one back out so i can fix that one as well but hey uh radio's working and everything so stay tuned so after all said and done i really think these are the stock <laughs> the stock speakers i mean look at these bad boys <laughs> yeah they wasn't working as you can see and if anybody knows look at those numbers on the bottom if you if you know if these are stock speakers put it in the comments below uh let me know i'm pretty sure i'm almost 100 percent sure these dusty motherfuckers here are stock but hey uh the next video the next little clip we're gonna be putting in some four by tens uh so stay tuned Stay with me, and uh, more than likely, I'll be in something different because I don't have the four by nine, four by tens yet. So stay tuned. And also, uh, just for anybody wondering, these kickers uh, CSC thirty fives are the ones that I actually put in there. They're ninety watts max, so they they are a really powerful three and a half inch so, or speaker. But uh, for anyone wondering, this is actually the ones that I be, I'm gonna be using in this car. And I think I'm gonna end up having Kim Woods on the back deck. Um, just I'm just trying to get this car where I can cruise in it as quick as possible. And Kim Woods supposedly are the best sounding four by tens. So uh, as always, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the, um, a comment down in the comment section below and let me know. But uh, we're gonna continue on to the four by tens now. All right, everybody, as you can see, my four by tens finally came in. Now, they came in over a week ago, probably around the time that my first video for the colors dropped. So uh, that's when they came. I've had them for a little while. It took me a little minute to get out here and actually do the video because I ran into some issues with it. OK, so as you can see, these four by tens right here are the original four by tens. And I don't know if you can see straight through there, but the cone is completely gone. So we're just gonna check these up as the original, we, the original speakers, okay? So we're just gonna check those up as the original ones. Uh, I'm replacing them with some Kenwood KFC-415C right here. They're 160 watt max. 
right now i don't have any amplifiers or anything on anything but uh probably will here soon so as you can probably already guess hold on let me go get a speaker out let me take a speaker out back to, to it as you can already see this is the original kenwood's the, the kenwood speaker and this is the original speaker so if you could tell there is a little bit of a height difference so here's the issue i was running into so the issue i was encountering is that this original bracket doesn't want to secure the new style Kenwood speaker, okay? As you can see, it works, everything's level. Uh, if you can tell, it looks like it should fit. Now, if you go to this one, for one, the cone doesn't fit, all right? So what I've been thinking about doing is maybe cutting this part out right here and seeing if I can make the bracket work because right now I have <laughs> some cherry rigging to hold these speakers in. I mean, big time jerry rigging. So, you know, at first I wasn't gonna show my jerry rigging bracket that I made and I almost went on and let it fly, but I can't let it go that way. So I'm gonna show you what I was holding these speakers in with since this wasn't working. All right, the classic, classic throwback. I had made these brackets out of uh, metal hangers and I bent them up to make them fit. But after thinking about it and really getting frustrated with it, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep well at night with these in here. So in the next video, we'll probably go ahead and uh, customize this right here. But I'm going to go ahead and drop this video and end this video right here. Um, the next video, we're going to be customizing and installing these speakers. And uh, hopefully it'll turn out right. So, all right. So this is going to be the end of this video. So in the next video, as I already said previously, we're going to be customizing those brackets to see if we can get the new uh four by tens to fit into that bracket and reuse it if anyone knows of anything that could possibly fix this issue before i cut those original brackets up please leave a comment in the comment section below or dm me on my instagram it's jamerl j or jamerl underscore j it's j-a-m-a-r-r-e-l underscore j so uh either way is a good way to get a hold of me so please if y'all know a fix for this issue let me know in the comments below and as always, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a like. And if you know of anyone that's struggling, make sure you hug them if you can, because you never know what dilemma or obstacle that person could be facing. So from your boy, Jamal J, somebody who loves you, peace out. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled around, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta